I've worked with patients at all phases of their cancer treatment, and I've seen the physical and psychological effects cancer and cancer treatments can have on these individuals. I'm going to let you in on a great way to relieve those effects, strengthen your body, give yourself endurance, and increase your energy levels at the same time. It's exercise. Today, I will be showing you a full body workout, and all you'll need is your stability ball, exercise mat, and resistance band. Now grab your stuff and let's get started. Remember to breathe. To prevent any unnecessary and potentially dangerous increases in blood pressure, it is very important that you breathe during your training exercises. Breathing out or exhaling should occur during the work phase of the exercise. For example, during the lifting phase while breathing in or inhaling should occur during the relaxing phase of the exercise. For example, the lowering phase. Proper breathing follows a simple four count pattern. Lift, one, two, lower, one, two. Never hold your breath while exercising and try to maintain a steady breathing rhythm. Exercise safely. Inspect all of your equipment before using it. Briefly take a look to make sure that the equipment is in good working order. For example, bands are not torn, stability ball is adequately inflated, and mat is not slippery. If you are securing resistance bands to a fixed object, ensure that the object is stationary and will not move, and that you knot the band tightly. Stay hydrated. Always carry or have access to water or drinks that can replenish your water loss through sweat. Getting enough fluids is very important. Try to consume about 250 to 500 milliliters of water in the hour before you start exercise and 125 to 250 milliliters for every 30 minutes of exercise. Dress the part. Make sure to train in comfortable clothing. Loose fitting clothes allow you to both release body heat and move freely. Wear supportive footwear such as athletic shoes and replace them as you wear them out. Running shoes, shorts or track pants and a t-shirt will keep you cool and dry during tough workouts. Exercise intensity. It is important to challenge yourself during a workout so that you get the most benefits from the exercise. However, you do not want to strain to complete the exercises. You should be moderately but not uncomfortably fatigued at the end of your workout. During the workout, your heart will beat faster and you should have a light sweat. Also, it is normal for you to breathe heavier but you should never feel out of breath. An appropriate intensity for most individuals is a moderate intensity that is challenging but not exhausting. To tell if you're in a moderate intensity training zone, you can use the talk test. If you cannot speak a few sentences when exercising because you feel too out of breath, you are likely working too hard. If you do not find that you have a light perspiration or an increase in heart rate, you may be exercising too lightly. For more assistance in gauging your exercise intensity, consult your exercise specialist. Know when to stop. Being active is usually quite safe, but in rare cases, problems can happen. It's important to be aware of some of the signs and symptoms of when to stop exercising. When exercising, if you should experience chest pain or discomfort with an uncomfortable feeling of pressure, pain, squeezing or heaviness, unusual shortness of breath or dizziness, here's what you should do. Stop what you're doing and rest. If it doesn't go away, after two to four minutes, call 911 or go to the emergency room. If it does go away, 
but returns each time you exercise, see your doctor. These may or may not be signs of something more serious. Warm up. Warming up before exercise is very important. It helps to prepare your body for exercise by gradually increasing heart rate and blood pressure. Warming up also helps to reduce the risk of tearing or straining muscles by increasing their pliability. A warm up should be a gradual increase in exercise intensity and should last somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes. The type of activity performed should include the major muscle groups that will be used during the exercise session. Some activities that you could incorporate into your warm up include walking, jogging in place, or performing the same exercises without any resistance.